Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another game. And this one's full of angels. Angels that are beating each other up. So yeah, here's another odd one in the PC Engine lineup, uh, Wrestling, Wrestling Angels, Wrestle Angels, a Double Impact. I'm not sure if it's made by the same group, you know, that made Card Angels, but basically it's a wrestling game with lots of buxom ladies. Now, this game is probably not really very playable for most uh, English-speaking audiences. And it's, you know, not all that entertaining either, but I thought I would just uh, put it up here for those that were curious about what it was about, or had never seen it before. Now, um, I'll show all the modes real quick, and uh, what they are, and then kind of the play style and how it plays. But basically it's like if anybody's played Princess Maker or Princess Maker 2 or any of those kind of games. Um, in this mode you kind of recruit girls, you, uh, you, know, you train them, you have to spend your action points you know, to improve your gym and train them to be wrestlers. And then you go to the wrestling part of the game. So let's try to recruit somebody here. Megumi. So uh, it's kind of cool that it's fully voiced and uh, we're playing the role of the, you know, recruiter, manager, whatever here and um, trying to recruit uh, six ladies and then you can actually enter the tournaments. And then there's a mode where you just fight. Um, you just have the girls wrestling each other. And then there's, you know, kind of an advanced mode where you choose a, a one girl and you kind of have her go through a story and, you know, rise to fame kind of thing. But first, uh, go ahead and show you the recruitment mode here. Which, uh, yeah, is not probably really all that entertaining for most people. We'll put 100 AP in for training. So you see there's gym points at the top, and we've also got action points. Oh, hey, there's somebody that wants to join, huh? So you have to get a six uh, girls in total, you know, because there's like a six-person tag team. There's also a four-player, 
you know, tag team with four different characters. And, um... Yeah, just want to show this mode a bit before we get into uh, the actual wrestling part of the game. But this is for those people that have, you know, obsessed about being a manager of, uh, of beautiful ladies wrestling each other in their swimsuits. So you can release girls, you can let them go home, you can sign contracts with them. Uh, you can upgrade, you know, your gym, add some points to the gym, and um, it'll improve their training stats and that sort of thing. You can send them on a vacation, take a break, you know, so that the girls don't get stressed out. So just for fun, we're going to go on a... Bakans vacation here. Yeah, I'm not really playing opti optimally. Probably shouldn't be taking a vacation so soon. And there's a stat screen with all the girls' stats. You know, their HP, their morale, strength. And then on the bottom right, there's some of their moves. Most of them are in katakana, so you can probably actually read the uh, moves. And their usual wrestling style moves like sleeper hold and um, you know those sort of things yeah I don't want to spend too much time on this um, but this part of the game is yeah pretty difficult to play if you were actually you know playing this in Japanese without some kind of patch it's a lot of stats, a lot of things to worry about. And here's a rather rough, tough Yakuza looking girl that wants to join. And she calls me Osan. I'm actually surprised about the number of characters that they put into this game. It has a lot. I, I don't really know the exact number, but I went through this training a few times, you know, to pick up a team, a random team of six, and I always had just completely different characters. So there was a fair variety. And they all look different, they all have their own personalities, blah blah blah. She seems like a Genki one, glad to have her on the team. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit of skipping here. After you've collected your six um, team members, then you can, uh, you know, go for some tournaments in different venues. So we have the uh, Tetris version of Japan here with all of the uh, prefectures you can choose as uh, Tetris blocks. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but hey, you've got Hokkaido. They're kind of in the center, and you know, you've got Honshu and Shikoku. You've even got Okinawa way down there in the corner as one long rectangular uh, cube or whatever. I guess a cube's not rectangular, is it? But anyway, these are the prefectures, and so I'm just randomly choosing some like the Technodome and, you know, some of these, the S Center, the, I think some of these are actually real places. Um, and, you know, you have to pay points to enter and you get points for winning. You 
you can have the rounds go automatically. Or you can actually choose your moves. So let's go ahead and uh, get into how it works. I mean, it's kind of neat if you ever wanted to be a, a female wrestler manager kind of person, you know? If that's really what you wanted to do with your life, then this simulates being a manager. Okay, so I'll do one. Kind of just let it do its own thing here. So, uh, you see there are cards in the uh, upper right and, or upper left and lower right. And it's kind of cool, they have a little four scene animation kind of showing what they're doing. And um, basically you choose cards, it's almost like a card game. And depending on the card you choose, you know, the opponent chooses, you know, another card and you know, depending on the different moves, either you, you know, kind of opposed them and you get your move in first, or, you know, they get their move in first, you know, almost like paper, rock, scissors. You know, rock beats scissors, and scissors beats paper, etc. It's kind of like that, but a little more complicated. I just, uh, that's probably the easiest way I can explain kind of how it works. They've each got their own stats. Uh, they've got those bars. Uh, one is for, you know, like consciousness, and one is for HP. So you can actually, you know, choke your opponent to death using a sleeper hold or something, or you can take them out with a KO or exhaustion, whatever. And then the tag team, of course, uh, you can, you know, you have the option of tagging with somebody outside the rope and another girl will jump in and take their place. So it's a two against two. And sometimes they struggle to get to the rope and touch the rope so that they can get out of, you know, some hold. Ugh. That looks painful. And then you have the count. And if you rapidly test, you know, rapidly tap the buttons, sometimes you can get up from being knocked down. And then it goes to the next one. Yeah, I think this game um, probably really only fun if you're really into wrestling and you know all the wrestling moves and you know you're interested in kind of the stats of um, you know how to raise somebody to be a good wrestler. Or I suppose if you're just looking for fan service and yeah, there's even a story where you as the manager save a little girl from a passing bus. Okay, so back to the beginning here, we're gonna do uh, exhibition mode. And this is just, you know, free play where you can choose single tag team, six player tag team. Um, yeah, which is a little wild in my opinion. So we'll just, uh, we'll just try tag here, tag team. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of characters. This list of Japanese, these are all the girls that you can choose from. And there's a lot, there's a, there's a lot of characters. G USA. That's probably some, yeah, blonde looking girl with a mask on. So you could have them wear wrestling masks or not. Zat Ninja. 
So they got a lot of funny, uh, maybe it's their stage names, who knows. Okay, so I have this set to two players, actually. So excuse me while I, you know, kind of mess with two controllers because it's just me today and don't have uh, anybody else to play with. Because nobody else wants to play this game. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use two controllers here. and You choose a card and you can see these are some of the moves and the number of points that they take to do. And then you go to the next character and uh, choose a card. And there are some moves, you know, arm whip, back drop, and urr. You get your like four, kind of like, you know, four little screen animation plus some um, picture of the girls doing the final move. And uh, she lost a bit of her orange bar there, the pink haired girl. I think the uh, purple bar is for consciousness. So uh, you, know, you can do sleeper holds and you know neck holds and things like that to make them go unconscious. Uh, let's go ahead and just go through this round so you can kind of see how the game plays out. If you look real closely, too, in the center, um, you know, the girls are actually doing stuff um, in the ring there. You can see that sometimes, so I can run to the rope. So I got to the rope just in time as the blonde girl was strangling the pink hair girl and so you can kind of see in the center there they're actually changing position but you're not actually you know controlling them live like a usual wrestling game would be it's all based on the cards that you choose and hey we've got our emergency girl jumping over the rope Suplex or something, whatever that move is called. That was pretty cool. Flying Neo Kick. So this other option that keeps popping up is, uh, you know, touch. You can touch somebody outside the rope and switch. The other girl is named uh, Pink Flower. And when you get a hold like this, then the count starts. And there's a Pink Flower now in the top. I switch to her. And she's got full health. Yeah, sorry for being a little slow here, choosing the options. Um, I'm having to switch back and forth here between two controllers. Probably should have just put it on uh, one player, but... Just kind of showing off, you know, how the game works. Definitely won't have a full playthrough or anything of it.
But yeah, it's, it's kind of an interesting concept if uh, you know, you're know you into a wrestling simulation where you, know, you want to be the coach and train and you know, you're really into all the terminology and stuff like that. Sorry, I don't know anything about wrestling, really. So, I mean, I've just... Looks like a painful hold there. These girls are very flexible. Yeah, I really, you know, I've, I've heard some of the moves, you know, like sleeper hold and, you know, that sort of thing, but jumping off of the side ropes and some of the moves, but other than that, ooh, there's a double takedown where the partner came in and we both, is that even like legal? Can you have two against one? And there's a back throw of some kind. Cobra twist. Oh, cobra, cobra twist. Oh boy, we just have everybody jumping in here. So Megumi swapped in down below, that's why her health bar is completely full. And Pink Flower is getting her butt kicked. The red girl on top. Let's do a backdrop. Northern L. Sprex. So, I mean, yeah, the moves are katakana, so they're from English, you know, actual lingo. An elbow attack there. So yeah, at any rate, it's you know kind of an interesting you know little game, of course, for the PC Engine. Pretty old, but uh, has full voice, and you know you've got the uh, four four little animated sequences there, and you know once again I keep forgetting to look in the center, but the girls are actually changing, you know, there in the middle. They uh, change position and you know various things, and depending on the uh, positions, um, I think you also need to make moves. So I'm not making the most ideal card choices here. I'm just kind of showing off uh, some of the moves. There's a throw I haven't done yet. And uh, the last option from the menu is just to uh, choose kind of one of the main characters. And, um, you know, you kind of go through a, you know, leveling up process of, um, you know, improving the, the single character and sending them to tournaments, uh, improving their stats. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this would be pretty hard to play if uh, you're an English speaker, unless there was a patch or something for it. There's a lot of stuff going on. But you can choose the stats and, um, you know, have a talk with the manager and then send your girl into some fights. 
So let me go ahead and maybe do a few auto ones, auto fights here at the end of this video. See if we get in any new moves. There's a nice kick. But that's about it. Yeah, Wrestle Angels. It's your wrestling fan service for wrestling nerds. So I'm controlling the uh, purple-haired girl on the bottom here, if you wondered. Getting myself uh, massacred. Oh, hey, I actually got her in a hold and weakened her a bit. Boy, that elbow. Get up, get up. Oh, whew. Yeah, and that's about all there is to this uh, somewhat, I guess I shouldn't say rare, but uh, unplayed game on the PC Engine. I think it's a Japan-only release. I don't even think there is a English patch for this. And if there was, it would be pretty specifically targeted because it's a pretty complicated simulation. But hey, anyway, something neat to see for a PC Engine game collector. And if you just want to see fan service girls duke it out in the ring. Then this should check all those boxes for you. So that one I had set uh, manually. Now here's a automatic fight where I'm just letting the AI make all the choices. There's a mode to skip, you know, all these animations too if you want to do that. So that's pretty much it for Wrestling... Wrestle Angels. 
A lot of reason to play this game. That's probably the only reason to play this game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed checking out this really bizarre and interesting PC Engine game. And if you're a wrestling fan, hey, try it out. If not, fan service. We'll see everybody in the next one.